Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brianna and today we're going to be going over how to make a REST API in Java with Spring Boot. So the first thing to get started is you can go over to Spring Initializer, make a plain Spring Boot app with WebMVC. Uh, I went and I just got that, which will give you the Maven parent as well as dependencies. So what we'll do is we have our application and inside our application, we're going to go and make a package. In that package, we're gonna call it controller. And in that controller, we're gonna make a library controller. So for this example, we're gonna use books. So books are in a library. So basically we're gonna make it as if we're, you know, prepping to have a front end that'll connect to us. And it'll be all about, you know, getting all the books available, deleting books and adding new books in. So first thing we're gonna do here is annotate this with the at rest controller. So this will just let Spring know that this is supposed to be a controller and it'll it'll spin it up uh, when the application spins up and create one instance of it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a get mapping. Spring has all these different mappings. They have get mapping, put mapping, delete mapping. It, it corresponds to the HTTP um, gets, put, delete, post, etc. So for this, we're going to make a get mapping, a post, and a delete. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a get mapping. And for that get mapping, we're going to make the path as slash books. And what we're going to do is we will be getting all books. So we'll do public list of book. And we'll do get all books, right? Easy enough. Okay, great. So... That being said, now we have to go ahead and we have to create our book model. So we'll go here, we'll do a new package, model, okay. New Java class for book. And in our book, we're gonna use, have a, get, have a private string for ID, okay. A private string for name, private string for author, and also a private string for available. So we're gonna go ahead and generate a constructor. The constructor will take everything except for the ID. And inside the ID, just to make it easy, we're gonna do an ID equals value uh, string dot value of UUID dot random UUID. Probably what you'll use for something like this is a repository or something like that. But instead of setting up a database, because that's not really what this is about, we're just going to use a, a service. And so with that, let's just do this. I'm going to handle creating the ID for this. So that will handle creating the ID. And then the last thing that we want to do here is we're going to make getter and setters for everything. So let's go ahead and getter and setter for all these. And then just remove the set ID because we're not going to need that. And last but not least, can't forget, let's go ahead and make a two string. Okay. Now that that's done, we can get to the fun stuff. So we'll import book here. And we'll import list. Cool. So. We're going to need some kind of service, and that service is going to be responsible for deleting books, getting books, updating any books, etc. So we'll go here and we'll make a service package. And on this service package, we're going to make a new book service. So we'll call this book service. We'll annotate it with service so that Spring knows that it's a service and it'll create it for us, as well as auto wire it in later. Um, so we'll have this service, and in the service, we're just gonna have a map of string book, and we'll call that book map. And like I said, you might use a repository or something else for this, but I'm just gonna handle it in here. So, and we'll just have a noarg constructor here. And in that noarg constructor, we're gonna do, we're gonna initialize it. So we'll do book map equals uh, hash map of string and book. Uh, new hash map of string and book. All right, cool. Now, the first one we're gonna to wanna to do is this get all books. So we'll go here and we'll make this public uh, list of book, right? And we're gonna call it get all books. And 
we won't pass anything into it and import this class okay cool so now we'll go to the book map we'll get the values we'll stream that and we'll collect that to a list go ahead and return this and semicolon let's go back to our library controller now we need that in here so we'll order wire that in so we'll say book service book service and we'll create a constructor here sprinkle handle getting that to us <clears throat> if you guys don't know much about auto wiring and all that stuff that's fine it's not really necessary for this video um, just understand that spring is going to understand that that's a service it'll make that into a bean and it'll pass it to us when this is instantiated so what we're going to do is we're going to get all the books so we're just going to return here book service dot get all books so our first one's done. You've officially created your first rest endpoint. And before we get into testing this, because we wouldn't have anything really in the repository at this point or in, in the map at this point to return, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a post mapping. So post is usually used for adding new data. So we're gonna create an add post mapping. And that post mapping will also have the path as books. Now we'll return a book and we'll say create new book and we'll give a request body um, book new book so basically spring is going to understand from this message to turn it into this book and it's going to give us this book new book okay cool so now we're going to need a book service which is going to handle adding this book to the hash map so we'll have a public book and save book and that'll take in a book book okay and in the book map we're gonna put um, books ID and also the book and then just to make sure that we got it and also to give the user that ID and all that and so that they can see we'll return the book map and get the book ID cool all right so at this point, we can create our new book and we can just do return book service dot save book and pass it in new book. Now at this point, we can actually run this and give it a try and see what we've done up to this point. Let's go ahead and run the application. Okay, now that's ran. Let's go and first of all let's create a book because if we get books right now there's not anything in there right just going to give us an empty list so we're going to make a new book and we'll pass it in json structure name author and available because those are the the variables on our book so we'll send that and we got it back so we got an id we got the name we have the author and we have available and now if we go make a test book two and test author two We'll get that one as well and if we go to our get books we'll see both of them are here so great so what have we done so far we're able to get all of the books and we're also able to add new books but what about if you want to get a, a book maybe specifically by this id which is a very popular use case so we'll go ahead and we'll go to the library controller and let's say we're going to get this book by id so we will have a new get mapping and the path here is going to be slash books like the other ones slash id and for this one we're going to return a response entity of question mark and then we'll call it get book instead of request body here we're going to use path variable which is basically going to give us this id variable and spring's going to handle it and pass it to us in the method and we'll take a string of id right so what are we going to do here? Uh, if you guys are curious about this response entity, basically there's a few ways that you can return something when you're trying to get one of maybe, you know, that might not be in there or something like that, right? So with response entity, we'll be able to send back a bad response or a good response as well as the body. Um, there's some other ways with throwing exceptions and other stuff like that, but this is a pretty simple approach and I want to just keep it simple to start off with. So what we'll do 
is on the book service side, we need to have a method for getting the book. So we'll say a public and we'll do an optional of book. We'll call that get book. And here we'll pass a string of ID, right? Easy enough. Import that class. Okay. And then here we're going to return an optional dot of nullable because it might not be there, right? Um, and then from the book map, we're going to get um, based off the ID. Easy enough. Now, from here, we're going to go to our book service. We'll actually, we'll have an optional of book called book. And that's coming from our book service dot get book and we'll pass it the ID. <clears throat> and here we're going to return. So if that book is present, right, we will return a uh, response entity dot of, and then just to pass that book to it. Otherwise, we're going to send it a response entity not found and build that. And we'll static import this stuff so that we don't have it there and it's a little bit cleaner. Perfect. So let's go ahead and rerun that and we can see it now that we're able to get by that ID. So application started. Go ahead and add our book there. And by this ID, we can go ahead and get the book by ID, right? So we'll get a status of 200 okay, and it gives us the, the name, the author, and if the book is available. Now, seeing what we did with that response entity, if we pass a value that isn't okay, it's gonna send us a 404 not found. So this way your front end will be able to understand, okay, that's a book that's not in my repository, and we can do something else with it. Now, we wanna delete a book. So we have our ID, we, we know about our book, right? Maybe we wanna get that book out of the list. So what we can do for our last endpoint is we'll make a delete mapping. And the path for that delete mapping will be the same thing as here. So I'll just go ahead and copy this over. And we'll just have a public void, oh, extra space there, extra line uh, of delete book. And we'll pass a path variable of string ID. Okay, great. So now we have to go into the book service and we have to delete the book. So what we'll do is we'll have a public void, delete book, right? Pass the string that it needs to delete. Um, and then just say book map dot remove and we'll pass the ID. Easy peasy. And on the front end here in the controller, We'll just do a book service dot delete book and pass the ID. So now if we go and run that, we have a controller. That controller is able to get books, put new books inside of our book repository, get a specific book and also delete a specific book. So let's kind of go through the whole flow. So we have a new book that came in. Test book two, test book, test author two. And then we'll also have another book called test book, test author, All right? If we go to our get books, we'll have all of our books. If I go and I pass it, this ID into get book, we get our book. And also we can go ahead and delete that book. Got 200 okay, and let's go back and look. Maybe is this book still here? Nope, it's gone. And now you should see only but one book here. We just went through REST API super quick. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any other questions down in the description. Um, if you have anything else that you wanna learn or you want me to go through, just shoot me a little comment down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you can. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a great day.